In today's video, we're going to be learning about Chicago by looking at the top employers by sector for each neighborhood. The results may surprise you. As always, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking it or even subscribing to the channel. When most people think of jobs in Chicago, they think of those in the loop. The Loop is the central business district for the city and the most iconic area. If you walk north from the Chicago Board of Trade, you'll find plenty of people working in financial services, insurance, and other business services. If you go just outside the Loop, you'll find more recent occupants, tech offices, and companies that have moved into the city from their former suburban headquarters. Chicago is a large city, covering almost 600 square kilometers, or just over 225 square miles. To the east, it's bounded by a sizable coastline with Lake Michigan. In the south, it reaches into the industrial belt it shares with Indiana. Its westernmost reach is O'Hare Airport, a massive international flight hub for the center of the country. And finally, to the north, urban residential scapes give away to the affluent suburbs of the North Shore. Chicago's a big place. We can't use the Loop's example to describe it all, so let's break out the neighborhoods by their largest sector employment. The first sector, the professional sector, covers people that work performing professional, scientific, and other technical activities. We've already covered this. This is the most dominant industry in the Loop. Due to Chicago's famous museum campus, the arts and entertainment sector is the number one in the near south side neighborhood. The arts and entertainment sector contains everything from theaters, museums, and other cultural activities. The education sector, as you might expect, includes people who are employed by schools, colleges, and universities. This sector is the top employer in five communities, all of which, unsurprisingly, contain some of Chicago's universities. Edgewater, the home of Loyola University, Douglas and Grand Boulevard, the home of the Illinois Institute of Technology, Hyde Park, home of the University of Chicago, and lastly, Mount Greenwood, home of St. Xavier University. The North Center neighborhood has a unique result, finance. Generally, finance sector's jobs involve working for firms that handle or support financial transactions. I couldn't find anything that explains why finance takes the number one spot here. There just must be more banks than normal. These communities have accommodation and food services in the number one slot. The Near North community is home to many entertainment businesses, and apparently that means a great deal of restaurants and bars. Armour Square is likely on this list because Chinatown is one of the best places in the city to get Chinese food. Businesses in the wholesale sector sell merchandise to other businesses and normally operate from a warehouse or office. Two communities have this as their number one, the Lower West Side and Gage Park. Both of these communities are near major railroad hubs, which makes them a great place to store a large amount of goods. The retail trade sector is a common number one for many communities. Retail businesses include all the stores that get products to their end consumers. There are five communities that have transportation as their number one. Two are where the major airports of Chicago are located. O'Hare, which appropriately given the name, is home to O'Hare International Airport, and Garfield Ridge, one of the neighborhoods that contain Midway. To the south, Pullman, Burnside, and the Eastside communities are located in major and historic railroad operations. West Garfield Park has a unique sector in its number one spot, public administration. This is the sector that government work falls into. Not many people get excited when they hear administrative sector, but these jobs include many services essential to keep businesses running office administration, hiring and placing of personnel, document preparation and other clerical services, solicitation, collection, security services, cleaning, and waste disposal services. Manufacturing is the name of the game in many places. In fact, it's number one in 14 different communities. Unsurprisingly, given the logistical advantages, many of these areas are clustered around the railroads on the west and south side. Finally, the most common top sector among community areas, healthcare. 
Many of these neighborhoods include large hospitals around the city. However, many do not. In these neighborhoods, all the people who work at various medical offices, dentists, optometrists, social workers, etc., add up to make healthcare the number one. And with that, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about Chicago today. I know I did.